Alright, um, I just got this in the mail yesterday, and it's a brand new Sony Google TV. So you guys are aware of it. And it's packaged and everything. And uh, we'll be rooting that today. First thing you want to do is since I'm using a brand new Google TV box is I need to get the 3.2 firmware on it and that can be downloaded at gtvhacker.com and uh, you know, I'll show you where it's at this is the home page you want to scroll down to uh, here and click on this link and once you're on here you want to scroll all the way down and click on Sony update downloads and this is this is all the firmware they have in their database you want to download the Sony Eagle uh, Android 3.2 and make sure it is the exploitable one do not download this one right here uh, as you can see it patches the previous version so go ahead and click on the Sony Eagle and you're going to want to download it and it is 259 megabytes uh, I'm not going to download it because I already have it on my computer. Um, so one it, once it is downloaded, uh, you'll see here that uh, actually it doesn't look like this. When you download it, it'll look like something like this. It'll have a bunch of characters before the package list, and you do want to rename that. So delete everything before package list like so and it should look like this once you have done that it's now ready to be put on your flash drive and you want to format your flash drive to FAT32 uh, NFTS or FAT will not work once that is done it is ready to go so you want to go ahead and you can right click on it and send to uh, removable disk whatever your drive your uh, flash drive is and once it's done you want to verify that it is there and yep we're good to go okay so now once we have the update on the USB flash drive go ahead and disconnect it and <clears throat> went ahead and set up the Google TV and go ahead and plug it in to the USB slot up front Go ahead and connect the power cable, and we'll turn on there the Sony Splash logo pops up. And it'll ask, uh, you know, this will come up, and you do want to up update the system. So we're going to go ahead and press 1, and it'll update right now. Alright, so once it's done, uh, this will typically take about 5 to 10 minutes, and it just got done right when I push, press the record button. So that's finished. So right now, I think 3.2 is on here. We can... I will unplug it and you want to press and hold the power button uh, while it's unplugged go ahead and disconnect the USB drive we're gonna double check and just just to verify that it is in fact 3.2 on there so you want to go ahead and press and hold in the power button and while this unit is unplugged keep on holding the power button 
and plug it in. And then the boot screen will will show up and this is the recovery mode. You want to go ahead and click on five to check out the system info. And right here you can see um, it says DMA one Eagle 2012. Uh, the 126 one so that's that's the version we just did so you're good to go if this matches up here up top then uh, we're good to go to continue step two. Right, on step two now you need four USB drives and I want to hit on Tiger Direct and bought these data stick pros they are they're pretty good um, I've had one for a little over a year and then I went ahead and bought three more but what you want to do to make it easy, um, just label them one, two, three, four, um, because we have to unplug USB drives and plug them back in, and it can get kind of confusing. So I'll show you on here on the computer how to set that up. All right, right where we left off, we need to download. We got to download the. Uh, the downgrade software and that can be found on the GTV hacker wiki so you want to go to the main page scroll down and click on running unsigned kernels on the Sony GTV and these are the instructions for it and you need to download right here at the bottom of the page it will have some mirrors I think near 2 was working I'm not sure So yeah, right there, it's going to be in a, I believe, RAR file, and you want to go ahead and download it, you know, uh, regular download, all that, they'll ask you to put in a code and everything, you, you got to wait like a certain amount of time, so, since I have that already, you got to deal with pop-ups and stuff too. But I have that already, it's under the downgrade right here, so once you do download it, you'll come up with a file like this, and you want to extract it, I'll go ahead and extract it in the same folder using WinRAR. Alright, and then you'll have a bunch of disk image files, uh, USB 1, 2, 3, and 4. We're going to be using these right here, specifically, since we're using the NSZ GT1 Google TV box. Now, a lot of people are having problems with uh, the DD using Windows Command Prompt. And the user on there goes by the name of Llama told me about Win32 Flash and it is a lot easier uh, to put these on the USB drive. So it's called Win32 Imager, I'm sorry. You can just Google that and it's a free download. So you want to open that up. You have it right here. And you're going to want to plug in your number number one USB drive. And of course, you are going to want to format that to FAT32. So you want to right click on that, click format. You have to format all four of your USB drives just to make sure there's not extra junk on there. So once all your drives are formatted, 
you want to click here and then you want to navigate to the, the downgrade and you're going to want to use the USB 1 Eagle and go ahead and click save and then select your device if it doesn't show up click refresh and it is device I and make sure we're here, yep, there's my flash drive, it's drive I and then you want to click right uh, writing to a physical device can corrupt the device or she wants to continue I'll click yes and it's done once that's done go ahead and unplug USB 1 and plug in USB drive 2 and you're going to want to repeat the steps and do the same exact thing And you want to go ahead and unplug it and that is for that we're good to go and go ahead and close out and we'll start the routing so you want to get your USB drives and we will come over here and I have the recovery mode already on and in order to do that I'll tell you one more time you want to unplug your device from the power the AC power from the back and hold in this button and plug it back in and hold that button keep on holding it for about five seconds and it'll boot up to here recovery mode so we're up here and we want to get the USB stick one go ahead and plug it in and you want to click three system update with the USB and it'll check now do not click one um, make sure the device is settled you know no more blinking go ahead and unplug it and you want to take USB stick 2 plug it in and just kinda let it settle might blink a few times I'm not sure Yep. Just wait about on the wiki page. It says wait about 20 seconds, so we'll wait 20 seconds. All right, it's good to go. All right, and then once USB 2 is plugged in, go ahead and press 1, and it will update. and update error. Press any key to exit. Go ahead and press any key. It'll bring you back to the main recovery mode menu. Um, go ahead unplug USB 2 and plug in your USB 1 again and you want to click 3 okay it'll check there now, go ahead, unplug USB 1 again, and plug in USB 3. This is probably the most critical part because if something would fail during this update, it could brick your Google TV box. So we're going to make extra careful that there's no activity blinking. So there's no blinking. Good to go and go ahead and press go ahead and press one and it will update okay, after that you'll get an update data error and go ahead and press uh, zero and you'll be back here and what you want to do now is go ahead and unplug your USB 3 
and we're going to unplug the back, the AC. All right, unplug it and make sure no USB uh, things are plugged in. Go ahead and get into the recovery menu by holding in the power button and plugging in the AC adapter. The Sony GTV splash screen will come up. It's a good sign. Alright, to this menu, go ahead and insert USB 4. And then click on button 3 to system update. It's checking for the mount status. Okay, this will take between 3 to 5 minutes. And it's installing right now. And you'll get this screen up here. It says GTV Hacker Sony GTV Rebooter. Install is complete. So you want to go ahead and press 0, then 0. Unplug your USB drive. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A rooted Sony GTV box.